Hi, this is Mike from PowerBI.Tips. I have another great layout for you today. This one's called the Sunset Layout. Once you've downloaded the file to your desktop, you'll right click it and extract all the data from the zip file. I'm extracting these just to my desktop. Click Extract. It'll then open up and I'll have an instruction sheet which just tells you how to work with the file. The demo. This is the example of how the file works, so you can kind of explore and see how it runs. And then the layout. This is the one that you'll use to add your data to it. All right, let's take a look at the demo. I already have it loaded here. Let's bring this full screen. OK, this is the report. So this report is comprised of five pages. We have an overview page, and then we have sub pages. And I'll click on a sub page so you can see how it looks here. The overview page has all colors highlighted. And then as I go through the sub pages, I'm only highlighting one color over here on the measure side. See how that works? Each color page, each page is color themed for that particular color. And I'm kind of using a monochromatic color theme here, some darker colors and some lighter colors of the same shade. Okay. Now this template is a little bit more involved than some of the previous layouts that we've done. This is because we actually have some bookmarks on here. So to work with the bookmarks, you'll go over to the View ribbon up here at the top. And then you'll click on the Bookmarks pane, which will reveal another panel. Now the bookmarks have already been set up so that when you click on a bookmark over here, it'll actually navigate to one of these pages. So if I click on the yellow bookmark, it'll navigate to the page of the yellow item. So I can use these bookmarks to navigate through. If you want to see how this functionality will work on the PowerBI.com service, click the View button here. And by clicking View, you'll be inside bookmarking. So see how the bottom ribbon here is now changed. We're now on page one of five bookmarks. Now, because we've added some additional functionality, there's a visual here that's kind of covering over top of this yellow bar here under the accessories. So if I can control click on this one, it'll then act like I'm navigating into the yellow page. If I click the same yellow button again, it comes back to the main home page. So I can navigate into any one of these smaller pages by clicking on the bars on the left hand side. And I can juggle between each of the topics by just clicking a different one. And if I want to go back to the home screen, I click the same button again. And it comes right back to the home screen. To show you really what's going on here, turn on the selection panel, which is located here under the view ribbon again. And you'll see that we have these clicker cards. These are basically just a blank, unformatted, clean shape that we've just turned into a clicker. So when you click on that object, it'll take you through and navigate you through to different bookmarks. Another thing that's important to note here, when you're modifying this, you'll want to change the number here for accessories. And you'll probably want to change this title as well, too. We've tried to name these cards intelligently so you can help you figure out which things you need to name stuff. So if you click the yellow card here, this is the best way to edit this. You can then go over here and modify the fields that you'll need to have for the yellow card. If you try click on it, clicking on it directly, you'll always click on this yellow clicker card that's above it. It's basically like a transparent image that's over top. It's kind of covering everything. So select the cards here. And you can modify your properties. Anyways. This is the sunset layout from Power BI.tips. I hope you enjoy.